spam, it can or cannot have a negative connotation. It's marketing, good marketing and bad marketing. I like the positive side of it in that what I did was I focused very directly on the target audience and the people within in that community that would have interest in my product. If we define the spam itself, wouldn't it be like spam is something which is not created for the target audience, no? That's what people say, but the real definition of email spam is unsolicited commercial email, mass email. In other words, going to lots of people. It's like, as opposed to what I did, very direct thing at that, it's like going up to the top of a tallest building in the city and throwing flyers in the air and hoping somebody out there wants what you have printed on your flyer. Do you think that the aggregation information systems, they are like sons and daughters of spam? Oh yes, yeah, different versions of spam, that's right. People usually try to avoid you, is that true? Not everybody, but that's a reaction I get uh, from people. I get three general reactions. One is, wow, you know, let me, you know, they kind of like meet me and talk to me. The second reaction is like, oh, he did that. Uh, they're not sure. They kind of like got to think about it. And then the third reaction is, oh, and they kind of like step backwards, like I'm going to give them a virus. What do you think is the future of spam? Spam will continue and the new forms of it will keep coming out. It'll be more personalized, more omnipresent around you. It'll keep more media types. It's gonna to come to all the programmable phones, not only iPhones, but Blackberry type derivatives and things like that. And most people will say it's more annoying. Great, that's a great forecast. The problem with the mass spamming and what really makes people mad is that they think of it as, okay, this is my personal device. This is mine, just like email is mine. If you have a newspaper or a magazine or you're watching television, there's ads on it. The advertising pays the way. The thing that people don't want is the unsolicited ads, which the desperate marketing people are always trying. People ask me, oh, do you get a lot of spam? And I say, no because of the way I use the system and I use the internet. I tell them things they shouldn't do and I give them some guidelines. They have to decide what they want and that kind of stuff.